Welcome back. In this Tai Chi tutorial, we're going to focus on the commencement form of the old yang style. And to begin with, we're going to just look at the basic alignments of the body, coupled with the bending and stretching, which is, serves as a foundation for future practices of integrating internal qualities into your Tai Chi and lifting the overall standard of your Tai Chi Chuan. So from this position here, just let your weight sink through the legs and let your hips relax with your shoulders down. And now we're going to begin the first phase, which is Pun. So we're going to gently begin to sink the weight deeper through the backs of the legs into your heels, bending the elbows and knees together, and just getting a sense of beginning to expand the body as you now push off your heels and lengthen your arms away from your spine, pressing forward. Now we're looking at sinking and absorbing as you bend and then right at the end begin to push down whilst lifting the crown of your head and lengthening the spine and then just relaxing. So commencing the Tai Chi form, sink and bend. Stretch and lengthen your arms. Bending, sinking. And as you push down, lift the crown of your head and just feel the whole body opening up whilst remaining stable. Hips down, your lower energetic centre, your dantian is also down as you get that pushing sensation through the body. Now with the breathing, obviously as a beginner just breathe naturally and try to breathe in through the nose whilst your tongue is placed on the roof of your mouth. But as you begin to progress with the actions, you can start to coordinate the breathing with the bending and stretching. So if we look at that now in this first phase of the form, breathing in as you bend and sink. Exhale as you stretch and lengthen. Breathe in as you absorb and sink. And then exhale as you stretch and lengthen. And just look to practice this form a few times. It's a very useful technique to help to prime you for Tai Chi practice. And it's a very effective method of just kind of soothing and calming your nervous system, getting your mind to kind of quiet and become more still. And it's a very useful form to begin to integrate more advanced uh, techniques and principles that you will learn as you go through the form a bit deeper. So good luck with that practice. In the next session, we'll be looking at the single hand ward off, which takes us across the body through to here and works up to this position in the form. Thanks.